Hey VC, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon here. Long time, no video. Um, I just wanted to come on because I got some stuff from uh, for Record Store Day. And I thought I'd show you what I picked up. Plus I've, I've uh, probably purchased 300 albums probably in the last seven months. Um, a lot of box sets. And I... Um, Tore my whole basement down, boxed everything up, had some flooring put down, painter come in, and uh, carrying all this heavy stuff, my back went out, so my listening room was down for a couple months. Um, but that's that's no here or there. I also picked up another uh, CD player from em Emotiva, and. Uh, it is probably the best sounding CD player I've ever heard in my life. It just sounds incredible. Um, matter of fact, I started on a war path there and I was buying a bunch of CDs, which I'll show you. I don't know how much I'm going to show you on this video. I'll probably do another one tomorrow because there's just too much stuff to show you. But let's get uh, started on Record Store Day. Okay, here's the Rolling Stones. Make sure I'm not putting glare um pick this one up the uh the record store that's closest to me it's about 20 minutes away um this is only the second uh, record store day drop they've done and they've really had a lot of stuff um the uh first one i went in there and it was a few things i, I picked up a couple but uh that was last year well, the end of the year, but, um, the, uh, this time, man, they had a lot, but the ones that I really wanted, they didn't get a whole lot in, and by the time I got in there, they were gone, and I was, um, Grateful Dead, and, uh, the two, um, uh, Black Sabbath albums, and there was another one, oh, yeah, Elton John album that I was wanted to get, but I, I got enough as it is anyway, I know the the um, Grateful Dead album, I think that was like 136 or something. So. so here we go. This one here, I bought this, never hearing it before. I, I never even heard of these this band. It's called Negative Space. Um, it's just a plain album. This is the way it came out when when they released this in 70, I believe it was. But it, it's typical to the music back then, um, 70 music. Um, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. I was pleasantly surprised with that one. Um, I'm not going to get too involved in these because most everybody has seen all the videos. Um, but uh, here's Soul Labs 3. A um, lot of good music on here. People I've never heard of, really. Um, I thought it was from older groups, but it's actually stuff that's uh, like out now. But uh, here's a, another one, L7. Eh, this one's all right. I, I picked this up on a whim, too. But uh, Steely Dan, Everything Must Go. Uh, I like this one a lot. Good sounding album. And The Who Faces, which... This is a double album, Half Speed Master. This is a great sounding record. It really is. But uh, that's that. Here's a picture album by the Kinks, Percy. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, but everybody knows what it looks like by now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oddities and Extras, The Zombies. Another good one. Um, Jefferson Airplane. This one is called, mm -mm. can't read it, Acid, Incense, and Balloons, <laughs> Collected Gems from the Golden Era of Flight, Record, doors, record Store Day Special. These are from uh, 66 to 71. But, uh, good album. like Jefferson Airplane. And here I had to get this one. Um, He's one of my favorite artists, or 
And that's Tom Petty. And it's on blue vinyl. Uh, it's good sounding album. Really good sound. I'm glad I picked that one up. Uh, Joni Mitchell. Archives Volume 1. This goes back uh, to her earlier recordings. I think. 63, I think. Uh, next one, Record Store Day, was Uriah Heep, Magician's Birthday. My dog's up there. If somebody's probably walking their dog out front. Uh, now, box sets. Uh, here's some box sets I picked up. Oh, God. Um, this one here is a great album by Tom Petty. This is live anthology. Really good album. Uh, sounds great. Um, it's got a real nice presentation with a book inside here. Uh, it's 51 live tracks on seven albums. Um, really cool how they did it. Um, but, uh. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Next one is uh, Fleetwood Mac, 50 Years. And um, I really like this album because they really did a great job on um, doing their whole uh, 50 years of music. Some stuff you, you know, was never on the greatest hits. Or anything and it, it it i think they did an excellent job on it and it, it sounds good um three doors down box set um i think it's three albums i believe but this is uh their debut album um yeah what is this uh 20th anniversary edition good sounding album Okay, uh, next one I picked up here is Eric Clapton, Life in 12 Bars. It's another box set. Um, trying to think. But this has got a lot of stuff on it. Um, going back into his career. And uh, good sounding album, too. Uh, give me some truth, John Lennon. Everybody's seen this one now. Got the cover on backwards. But, uh, yeah. Good album. Grateful Dead. This is a live album. 69, February 28th. Uh, what was this? Uh, I think it's at the Fillmore. Yeah. Fillmore West. Like, uh, this is a uh, five album set. Um, the last, it's actually, uh, eight sides or nine sides, but it's five albums. One side's not, uh, nothing on it. Here's another one, Jerry Garcia, uh, band, August 5th, 1990 at the Greek Theater. Another good album. Shoot me, it's glared. I don't know why. It's bad. Here's the album I picked up. Uh, this is a Donovan album box set. It's a few of them in there. I forget what it was now. It's been so long since I heard it. But yeah. Uh, and Pink Floyd, Delicate Sound of Thunder, 3LP. Good sounding album. put new flooring down. I used to have carpet here and it's uh, vinyl flooring because um, in the basement you can't really put real hardwoods down here. It's a vinyl but it looks like wood. Nice nice material though. I really liked it. Um, what else was I going to show you? I got so much though. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, I don't want this thing to go too long. What is it? It's only 10 minutes. It's been so long since I did a video. I'm now uh, out of practice here. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I got some CDs, a bunch of them. Here's D, D, uh, Dio's f first five albums. Um, I started buying a lot of CDs because the that CD player sounds so good. Cheap Trick, Another World, the new one. Uh, Bob Dylan, three album set. This is a good album. I really like that album. And I started picking up um, Greta Van Fleet's newest one. Got that on vinyl, too. Um, I started picking up Neil Young albums that, were, that I didn't have in my collection. And I just got them on CD because... Most of these are hard to find, and if you do, people want a ton of money for them. But uh, this is uh, Chrome Dreams 2. Maybe that's what that is, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, live at the Canterbury House, Sugar Mountain. Uh, Neil Young, Dreamin', uh, and Live in 92. Dreaming Man. Yeah, that's what it is. So much to try to cram in here. This is New Young Crazy Horse Way Down in the Rust Bucket. I think this is a newer one. Uh, Earth. And Prairie Wind. If you can find these out there, man, they're expensive. Um, but... Uh, Joan Jett and the Blackheart's Greatest Hits. Uh, Working on a Dream, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, High Hopes, Bruce Springsteen. Devil and Dust, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, We Shall Overcome, The Seeger Sessions. Um, McCartney. Off the ground. Uh, Deep Purple Machine Head. Uh, I thought this was. Yeah, 25th anniversary. And Best of Depth Leopard. Uh, Alice Cooper. Constrictor. Two Iron Maiden. One's Fear of the Dark and A Matter of Life and Death. These were CDs that were in those little box sets with the little uh, Eddie figures on them. They're already on the shelf. Um, here's uh, Your Eye Heap Demons and Wizards. Uh, your Eye Heap Best Of. And White Snake's Greatest Hits. That's the CDs. Well, actually, I bought a lot more than that. But when I took tore the basement down, I had a pile of records sitting here that I had gotten, and I shelved them all when I put everything back together. But then, uh, uh, here's another one I got. Now, this was sitting on where Record Store Day was, and it was actually right in the Steely Dan thing, and I thought this was... I knew they had two releases out, and I thought this was the other release... And uh, I bought this, but I didn't have it, so I didn't really mind. But it wasn't a record store day. Somebody must have had it in their hand and then went up there and bought a record store day when it just set this one there instead of putting it back. But uh, this one's uh, Aja versus The Scam, Boston Broadcast 2009, Volume 1, Steely Dan. Good sounding album. I like it a lot. It's really, really nice sound. There's another really good sounding album. This is the Millennium Concert with the Eagles. Fantastic sound. It's hard to tell that it's even live. Of course, nowadays, they do it a good job of live albums. Um, uh, Van Halen Hurricane, which was a uh, Maryland broadcast 1982. I think this is when they were in Atlanta, Maryland, I believe. It doesn't say on it, but I think it was. Uh, Leonard Skinner, live at Nabworth. Rush, an evening 
with 1997 Tri tribute to Neil Peart, Volume One. Bob Dylan, uh, God as I've been to, good as I've been to you, God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wallflowers, Red Letter Days. I know I went crazy and bought too many records lately. Um, this is Grateful Dead with Linda Ronstadt and Boss Gags. The Outlaws, Dixie Highway. Another good album. And these are new releases of older Donovan albums, which are... One's gold and one's green. Uh, the green one is the Hurdy Gurdy Man. It's great, really great sounding. They did a good job putting it together. Uh, so anyway, with this one, this is Mellow Yellow. Here's the uh, Better Grand Fleet album, Battle of Gardens Gate. I like this album. I don't see many people showing it. Of course, I haven't watched a whole lot of videos lately. But... Uh, I haven't seen anybody showing that one, and it's a good album. I, I like it a lot anyway, put it that way. This the worst of Jefferson Airplane. I had this, an older one, and I think it was a BG copy, so I, I seen this one new, and I picked it up. These two are good albums, too, from White Snake. They came out with a series of three. I have the other one, and I bought this, the other two. This one's uh, Love Songs, White Snake. Uh, this one, the blues album, and these are these are both really good albums. Um, I like Wait Sing a lot. Picked this uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers, uh, Natty Dread. Uh, History of the Birds. The Hollies, Distant Light. In excess, very best of. Rolling Stones Live, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Now, what else? Oh, where are we at here? 17. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, Pink Floyd Live at Needworth. Rolling Stones now. This is, uh, I think this is the first recording. London, I believe that is. I think that's why I picked it up. Uh, in Excess, The Swing. Rolling Stones, England's newest hit makers. This is remastered album. Uh, Alice Cooper, Dragon Town. I've been on a hunt to try to get all of uh, Alice Cooper's album. And they're usually pretty good. Uh, Fleetwood Mac. This is in Oslo Live, 1969. Alice Cooper, <clears throat> Brutal Planet. Jimi Hendrix, Smash Hits. Like, it's a greatest hits, of course. I think it's colored vinyl. I believe it is. I think it's red. But anyway, too many more to show. Blue Oyster Call. <clears throat> What's this one? 45th Anniversary Live in London. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, Letter to You. This is a good album. Uh, Head Machine is the name of the band. Orgasm. I bought this uh, from a recommendation from my local record store, and it's not bad. Uh, <clears throat> I liked it, actually. Sometimes people tell you to buy certain things and then you get them in there. 
terrible. <laughs> but, uh, Azor, love cannot exist in hell. I don't even remember this one. I didn't even know. I can't remember what it was about. I was, I, that drew a blank on me. It was a brain fart. Golden earring switch. Uh, John Stewart, California Bloodlines. One green capital. Rod Stewart, Gasoline Alley. Here's a good one. Uh, this is a Pearl Jam Gigatron. Like this album a lot. Blue Oyster Cult Live 83. Now these are most of these have been bought since I did the, my uh, room, so it's been four months, I guess. Maybe three months. Peter Grit Gabriel, Growing Up Live, three album set. It's a good album. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, then play on. This is early Fleetwood Mac album. Really good album. Audio Speed Wagon, the hits. On Epic, of course, McCartney 3. Since then, they've come out with different colored ones and different things and sell them for 70, 80 bucks, which I don't, uh, I don't go for that stuff. <laughs> but uh, T-Rex, the slider, 40th anniversary edition. It's been remastered by Tony Piscotti, 180 gram. It's a good album. Here's a Pink Floyd album from 67, uh, BBC, one of those editions. I think that there's three of them I have. I might have all three of them now. But uh, here's ACDC's latest, Power Up. <clears throat> White Stripes Grace Hits. Metallica Reload. Green Funk Railroad's greatest hits. They were big in my day. Um, this is the Who on Icon uh, edition. Kind of a greatest hits. Oh, this Green Day. Green Day album. Uh, forget the name of it. I can't read it. Uh, Grateful Dead. Go to Heaven. I have a lot of Grateful Dead albums. Um, another Grateful Dead. Uh, I forget the name of this one too. I think this is their uh, debut album. I believe. I don't know. How about a brain fart? Happens a lot. The older you get, the more brain fart you have. Uh, let's see. Bruce Springsteen. I didn't care too much of this. This is a purple. The Darkness Tour. The sound, I think the sound quality wasn't all that good. Now here's two Cactus albums. Um, I had never heard of Cactus before, but a local record store guy recommended them. And I think 
One of them was real good and one of them wasn't so good. And I forget which one was which now. But, uh, yeah. One way or another is, is this one. And I think this is the debut album, yeah, Cactus. I think that the, this one was the good one, I think. I'm not 100% sure though. Like I said, it's been so long since I, I made a video. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, I think this was Boston. This was recorded in volume three. <clears throat> Rush Icon on Red Vinyl. Basically, these things are like greatest hits. <clears throat> Tears for Fears. The Seeds of Love. Everybody's seen all these. These are older albums, but... Uh, Soundgarden. This is... Uh, Louder Than Love. Ah, Neil Young, Crazy Horse. This is Return to Greendale. I think this is a newer release. Colorado. Neil Young, Crazy Horse. Uh, it's got a 45 with it, too. Uh, good album. Here's Neil Young, Homegrown. One more prize. And uh, Neil Young, Young Shakespeare. This is a live album from Stratford, Connecticut, January 22nd, 1971. <clears throat> now I know where the glare's coming off. It's coming off my computer. That's not too bad. 22 minutes. I went through them fast, I know, but I had so many here that I went... Oh, here's two more. Two Duck Leopard albums that I picked up. Oh. I'm going to get them all out of the way. Songs from the Shakes, um, the Sparkle Lounge. And this one's called Yay. I forget when this, what, the, what year this album come out. I don't see it right off there. I think that's it. That's enough anyway. I always keep telling myself I'm not going to buy as many albums as I do, but that crazy uh, record companies keep putting out some good ones. <laughs> and uh, I'm a sucker for them, like uh, a lot of people I watch on this uh, VC. But, uh, yeah, I believe that's it. Like I said, I redid everything. Everything got rearranged and redone. Now A starts on this side and goes around the room. Got all my... Harley stuff up on top there. They're all banks, if you can see them in the background. I put up some new posters. These are concert posters. Um, Black Sabbath, Steel Wheel, Rolling Stones, uh, the Music Festival, which I thought, yeah, Oakland, California. <clears throat> and I got some more over in there, three of them over there. Yeah, I kind of redid everything. Um, it took a long time, and uh, I wind up, you know, when you get a box of records, they're heavier and shit, and I wind up pulling my back out, and uh, <clears throat> I couldn't touch anything. I couldn't even come down here and mess with any of it until my back got better, which is uh, very painful. You can't pick nothing up. I was, plus my knee has gotten really bad, my right knee. My left knee hurts, but my right knee's almost unbearable. I got to go... Uh, I got an appointment coming up to see about surgery, knee replacement. That's the only thing they can do now. They've shot it up 50 times and it's not working anymore. Cortisone shots. 
So I guess that's about it. I'm glad I put out a video though. It's been so long. Uh, I haven't even really been watching a whole lot of videos. Um, I, I, I just kind of got away from music for a little bit, kind of like took a break. I was doing too much as my wife said. <laughs> Plus I'm busy in the spring out in the yard, man. I, even with my bad knee and everything, I had to wear a brace and mulch everything and pull the weeds up and edge and all that goofy stuff you have to do when you own a home. Um, that's about it, I guess, guys. Um, but another reminder on that um, Emotiva CD player. I know a lot of people aren't getting into CD players anymore, but that one really does. Phew, God, it sounds good. I was impressed. As soon as I put a CD in, I went, holy crap. I said, That's, it sounds incredible. And 600 bucks, you know? And the quality of it, the, the weight of it, even the remote is metal and it's heavy. I mean, just everything's just pure quality. And it, sound, and it sounds good. So, you know, you can't go wrong for 600 bucks. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, Till next time. Take care, guys.